I'm Nika Chung. Welcome back to my channel. Hope y'all had an amazing weekend. Who's ready to become a vampire slayer? It's just a bunch of hocus pocus, right? Well, not for this neighborhood. Are they prepared of what they might encounter? Possibly living with the mythical supernatural forces of the night. We are going to wipe you out like the vermin you are. We got vampires in the Bronx. The new Netflix original Vampires vs. the Bronx, should we cast them out or invite them into our homes? The film is directed by Osmeri Rodriguez, Edwin both by Osmeri, and Balise Hemingway. It stars Sarah Gordon, Method Man, Shay Wakeham, Jaden Michael, Gregory Diaz, Gerald Jones, Coco John, and Zoe Saldana. The story follows a group of teenagers who suspect something strange is happening in their neighborhood. People are missing, and Mornell properties are buying out areas in the Bronx. One night, Miguel witnesses a man that was chasing him get attacked by a vampire. As he tells Luis and Bobby, they didn't believe him at first until they seen it for themselves. They tried to tell the neighborhood, but no one didn't believe him, thinking, why would vampires want to live in the Bronx? And people don't realize the vampires are here at work, and now it's up to them to save the neighborhood in the Bronx before they take over completely. The three leads in this movie are really talented. The characters they play, Miguel, Bobby, and Luis, are smart, sarcastic, and funny. Miguel is the leader, Bobby is like the tough guy, and Louis is the Puerto Rican Harry Potter. That's the vampire expert. Although they had different lifestyles, their friendship was more important than just making wrong choices. Goonies, stick together, right? Yes. Never say that. Goonies never say die. Goonies stick together. I enjoyed the supporting cast in this film. Zoe Saldana made a cameo. I thought she was going to turn into a vampire. That would have been really cool. I liked her in Pirates of the Caribbean. It was awesome to see Method Man, but I wish he had a bit more screen time. The parents in the film were hilarious, and I can totally relate. I grew up in a Caribbean household. If you step out of line, you go and get it. <laughs> I remember seeing Sarah Gordon from one of my favorite TV shows, Are You Afraid of the Dark? She played a really good vampire. She should have been casted in the Twilight films. She just had that look. The only thing that was missing in this film was the origins of where the vampires were living before they came to the Bronx and what they were doing at night, being around their own kind. I feel if they added that, I think it would have made the story a little bit more interesting. Did you notice a very familiar photo on the property's logo, Val de Palmer, aka Val Dracula? Romania is known to have quite a bit of folklore stories. I remember two or three years ago, I was watching a YouTube video about an American family spending the night in Dracula's castle. It was crazy. Before they could enter that castle, they had to have protection on them before they go in. But that was truly a very wild story. This is not your typical horror vampire film, but it's a great way to kickstart for the month of Halloween. There's comedy, adventure, kind of like a Goonies, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Goosebumps mixed in with a Bronx vibe. But I really enjoyed the movie. It brought back memories of Halloween movies, TV shows I used to watch as a kid. What did you guys like about Vampires vs. the Bronx? Let me know in the comments below. I'm your host, Ainika Chung, and I'll see y'all next time on my next movie review. Later, guys. Love yourself always. And remember, be excellent to each other if you guys have suggestions of movie trailers or movies I should definitely check out. Also, comment below. All right, guys. See you next time. Cheers. Later. Bad place in the old war. Nothing's impossible.